When I check my email, there are some old games. Now I'm gonna play them for you. This episode's game comes from Spemail65, Unused Emails. And this game, oh man, the greatest game! The Friendlyware PC Introductory Set was a series of games and productivity programs that were made to introduce the early 1980s family to their new personal computer. Let's take a look here. Whoa, look at the size of those Control-Alt-Delete keys. Those things look like family sedans. <laughs> Introducing the complete fleet of 1981 keyboard family sedans. The Control for moms on the go. The Alt for big families. And for the shady businessman, the Delete. Let's see, what else we got in here? Oh yeah, I gotta call out this specific passage. This is amazing. Whereas the great majority of microcomputers have a total addressable memory of 64K or less, the PC's attainable range of addressable memory is theoretically nearly one megabyte. Can't you just see a bunch of bearded Palo Alto types sitting around with pipes? Hey, gentlemen, the data is there. We will reach one megabyte by century's end. Abort, retry, ignore, fail, or crash, sometimes. All right, let's check this game out. Please insert disk four of 12. F, R, I, E, N, D, -d, 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 -d. That's a pretty dynamic animated logo. Ooh, and look at all these options. Immediately, the words killer and battle jump out at me. All right, let's go with killer. Would you like instructions? No! Oh, man, look at this maze. This multicolored labyrinth stretching on for infinity. Who knows what dangers lurk inside the killer maze. North. Turn to the west. North again. And then west again. And then that's a dead end. And then all the way around south. No. Yes! Back to where I was before. Go. Keep going. Take this left. Right here north. And then to the east. Okay. So far, my main question is... Where are all the, like, demons and bad guys, and why can't I shoot? Wait a minute. Is this like that Hall Runner game where the bad guys were pop quizzes? Get out of here! South. Boop, 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 boop. Kinda feel like I'm going in a circle. I should've got some graph paper before I did this. Oh, I have no idea where I am. <laughs> Oh, look at that. That looks like the end. It's gotta be one of the big end bosses waiting for me. Let's go! Let oh, man! A wall. Um, this, this must have been set on, on easy. Uh, because there don't, don't appear to be any bad guys in here. I haven't found a single med pack or some ammo clips. Okay. Wait, exit! The exit! D do I do it? I made it! In 82 moves! And there was absolutely no reward! Are you freaking kidding me? There's nothing killer about that maze! That is the safest maze I've ever been inside of! Can't I at least get like a ASCII cackle demon as a reward? That would have been enough! I'm playing DOS games here! My expectations are only like ankle high! Alright, let's see, what else we got? Eye and hearing test? How'd they sneak that one onto the top menu? That should definitely be between, like, the amortization calculator and, like, Edgar's checkbook balance blaster. All right, let's see, what else we got? Let's go to menu two. Ooh, let's try match. Would you like instructions? Sure. In this game, you will try to match prizes on the game board before your opponent does. Oh, this sounds like a two-player game, strong man. Oh, man! That's why, as our resident game show host, I figured I should be your partner in this endeavor, strong man. Okay, great! Player one, please enter your first name. Odinbot. Player two, please enter your first name. You know I gotta go with my all-time favorite, Bornau. Whoa, this looks like the old family feud grid. Boy, now, what is your first choice? I'm going 
with D7. Ooh, a Rolex camera. I know they're trying to fool me, but I know the match is at D8. Did that say a six-pack of cores? Oldenbot, what is your first choice? Let's go over here to B6. A horrible Volkswagen. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, this thing is definitely a D4. Mobile home. I'm going with A4. Gold ring. I bet you that increases my defense. It's not that kind of a game, Homestar. They always try to fool me. I'm going with A5. Trip to Japan? Are you always just going to check the one right below the one you just picked? Yes, ma'am. Oh, A2. Six pack of cores. That's right. Who's over there? A D8. Nice. A six pack of cold ones. All right, a match. Oldenbutt. For $3.15 and prizes. Whew, that's a cheap six pack. Guess my secret number. 10 to 99. Oh man, you know I gotta go. With 54. Still too high. Okay, I get to go again. Uh, B6. That Volkswagen. Did I already do that? I'm not telling. What if Homestar's right and it's the one right below it? Ah, you got in my head. That's what I do, strong man. It's all mind games. I'm doing it. B7. No, oh, friendly wear. Ha ha. My turn. D3. An MX-80 printer. Pow. Oh, man, that doesn't take this game at all. Uh, let me think about a D4. I'm going with C5. A Corvette, yes. All right. It's going to be an E7. Friendly wear. Ooh, now I know what that is. B7 and E7. Ding, 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 ding. Whoa, friendly wear costs forty nine ninety five, And that's nineteen eighty three dollars Boy, now. Guess my secret number, 10 to 99. Uh, 23. Congratulations, boy now. You win. What the crap? You can just guess a stupid number and win the game? Oh, man. I could have won a Betamax, a brick home, whatever a Tampa Nugget is, and a turkey farm. You cheated me out of my turkey farm, Homestar. Hey, check it out. The MX-80 printer actually followed my double-up style. Now double up your style if you don't get out of here. I already left your house. Good riddance. F10. Let's see, what else we got on here? Uh, let's check out intro menu two. Uh, blackjack, dominoes, boring, boring, boring. Whoa, personal biorhythms. That sounds awesome. In the spirit of Bioforge and Biomenace, I bet you biorhythm is gonna really deliver. No, I don't need instructions. Whoa, enter your birth date. This game's gonna, like, take place in real time. Let's just put in a, a nice bogus one here. Correct? Yes. Please enter a start date for your chart. Let's start in uh, the 80s. Yes. Whoa, what the P and I and E and I should have read the instructions. Down, critical, up. I have no idea. Space bar to continue. What, what am I looking at here? Whoa, P I E. I'm looking for pie. Okay, that's that's gotta be the object here. This is definitely as good as Bioforge and Bio Menace. No. P P I E. There it is. Look down to the bottom of the page. P I E and an ampersand even. I got pie on November twelfth, nineteen eighty three. All right, I'm done pretending that this is any good. Let's leave. All right, friendly wear. Sea battle is your last chance. Don't disappoint me. What is your first name, Captain? Enter your name and then strike the enter key. Strike it down with extreme prejudice. Captain... Symptomo. That's right. Would you like instructions? No! Oh, man! Look at that battleship! That thing's amazing! All right, what do we got here? Level one, level two, level three. Choose a level and strike the corresponding key. I love all these strikings that we're doing. It's like the word press hadn't been invented yet in the early 80s. Or the word mash. Now uh, let's go with level two and choose a quadrant, A through X. Uh, let's go with quadrant N. Illegal function calling 330. What the crap? This awesome sea battle game doesn't even work. Let's just take a peek under the hood here. List 
some stuff here uh, based on my expert programming. We're just gonna make this two minus one. Totally, totally great. And run. Okay, here we go. Let's see, let's see. Go back to level two. And this time we'll try quadrant N. Whoa, I added some awesome colors and scorpions, but uh, it still, still doesn't work. Let's just see here. Let's look at the program. Oh, oh man. Oh, dang. Look at that. 1,000 lines of code. This has got to be like the longest game ever programmed. Oh, wait a minute. I see some graphics in there. List. Let's see. 800 to 900. Oh, yes. Look at that. That's the ship graphics, man. Okay, let's see. Edit. Line 900. Oh, man. We're going here. We are aboard the SS Total Below. That's right. All right, let's see. Run. Yes, look at that thing. The SS Total Below. Let's watch it not work correctly. Scorpions, red scorpion, green scorpions. Oh, man. What else can I do to this broken game? Oh, I've got an idea. Bear with me now. I'm going to get pretty great here. Add my own line 891 there. I gotta try and remember all of my DOSes. Ooh, all my DOS programming. Program you so well. All my DOS programming. Only in time will tell. If I remember how to program you properly. Okay, that should do it. Let's run. There we are. It's me and the cheat standing dangerously in front of that giant cannon. Oh man, strong bad and the cheat sailing the three layered alphabetical seas in the SS total below. Well, I think the fact that I'm hacking these games in order to make them enjoyable is a sure sign we've reached the limit of what Friendlyware has to offer. But if anybody knows how to fix that illegal function call, be sure and let me know in the comments. Here's hoping we may one day reach one megabyte. Whoa, check it out. The return to DOS. That's way better than Escape from DOS. Let's play it. Oh, it's just a return to DOS. Hey, let's like mess around in here then. Basic, Basica. Basica sounds like a Teen Girl Squad character. Hey, Basica. You want to come over for some pizza rolls and illegal function call at 3.30? Syntax error. Uh, let's see, it's going to Basica. Just make a little program here. Friendly wear is kinda the worst. Okay. Oops, let's make a. Go ahead, don't forget to clear screen. 20, go to 10. Let's do it! Run! Yay! I did it! <laughs> 